Hey, what's up everyone? I'm starting this video off with a Trader Joe's haul because I just drove past Trader Joe's and there was no line to get in. And I wanna show you what I got. Okay, I have two bags of stuff right here and I'm already realizing that I forgot to get the green salsa. Their salsa verde, like just the Trader Joe's brand is so good if you put it in the crock pot with chicken, but that's kind of a bummer, but let me move these bags up. I also haven't made my bed yet today, which I guess I'll do that. It's two o'clock, so maybe the bed's just gonna be left unmade. Um, I got three bottles of this wine. I really like this wine and it's only like four bucks, five bucks a bottle. I like it with Thai food. I like it with spicy food. Um, these are the sausages that I use for my rice bowls all the time and I hate cooking, so I like anything that's really easy to cook. So I got this one, which I've never tried before, but I wanted to try something new. And then I got two of those. I got some canned corn because I put that in the crock pot sometimes with black beans and chicken broth and chicken and uh, taco seasoning and just make like a chicken enchilada soup. I got refried beans. I got two of these. This is my favorite kombucha flavor and I go through like hardcore phases of liking kombucha and not liking it and I thought today it sounded kind of good. I got these because I'm really into eating cereal at night as dessert. I got these baked cheese crunchies. Someone told me to try these sesame honey almonds and I did and they are so addictive. They're so delicious. Really good for snacking. I got this everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip and I really like dipping like just plain cuddle chips in here. It's like chips and dip but healthier. This hummus is my favorite hummus I think of all hummuses. I have a ton of baby carrots from Costco so I thought I should get that and finish up my carrots. Oh. <laughs> This is a present from Mark. He is really into jam. He puts it on like ice cream and I think sometimes he eats it by the spoonful of peanut butter. So I saw this strawberry preserve and it says extra jam and I got it for him. I'm gonna try this. I am not much of an Alfredo, size, Alfredo sauce kind of person, but it just looked really good. And I have a bunch of zucchini and squash and I wanna make like a veggie pasta with white sauce. I got another can of refried beans and I got a lime because I've been squeezing some lime on like chicken tacos or like a, when I make my chicken bowls with rice and spinach, I squeeze lime on top and add some green onions and it just really makes it so bomb. And I also went to Sprouts. I actually went to Sprouts first because I didn't think I would be able to get any Trader Joe's. These were buy two, buy one, get one free. So I got these chips. I haven't tried the barbecue flavor, but this brand, the Boulder Canyon, they're my favorite chips of all time. And let me tell you, I have tried a lot of chips. I got this apple because it was so huge. Can you tell how big this is? Like, how can I reference it? Like, look at it compared to this can. That's huge. So I had to try this apple. Oh, this is from, oh, I just got something stuck in my nail. Um, this is for my veggie pasta. I actually made some veggie pasta last night and I want to make it again. So I got two zucchinis and a squash and a tomato for the pasta too. Look at this. These are all bars. They were like four for five dollars. These are my favorite desserts. Like absolute favorite. This one especially, if you look over here actually, I have like 20 of them, the little miniature ones in this basket. I don't even know what the ingredients are or like the macros or anything. Um, it looks like it's 210 calories for a bar. What else? Six grams of protein, that's not too good. 14 grams of fat. Anyway, I mean, it's just like nuts and chocolate but I eat them for dessert at night. I have to have something sweet after dinner. I bought quite a few of these actually. So that's my Trader Joe's haul. Um, I'm so excited to have some Trader Joe's stuff stocked up. My window's open if that's really loud. I have to keep my canned goods behind the couch in this little container because I don't have room in my cabinets. My cabinets are just like so messy. I feel like keeping this organized is the world's biggest battle. This is my pantry. I don't really have any other pantry space. I just keep trying to figure out solutions. Like I already put a lot of stuff in those containers. 
but I think the problem is I'm too much of a chip addict. Chips just really take up a lot of space. I added in even more chips, the ones I got today. Okay, I have a face mask on right now. I've had it on for a while. I really need to get in the shower, but I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna hang this picture back above my bed just because I, I just love it. I printed a lighter one actually, let me show you. Um, I printed this one and was gonna put it in a white frame above my bed, but now that I have this little black lamp, I feel like the black print is gonna look okay above the bed again. For a while, I was just getting really neutral toned over there and the black just wasn't looking right. So um, I just wanted to show you this little trick for hanging up something. And maybe you've seen this trick already before, but just in case you haven't, this has like two little things so I'm just gonna put some tape and I'm just gonna mark exactly where I need to put the screws. So now I have my tape and I'm just getting on the bed and I'm going to, you can see where it was before, but it needs like new fresh screws to hold. So I'm just gonna put this on the wall. So now I have my tape on the wall and ideally I would use really easy tape to peel off, not postage tape, but that's all I have. And I'm just gonna screw into the tape and I'll just leave it there and I can remove the tape whenever I move out. It's back. I just love this above the bed. I don't know why, it's one of my favorite things. I just printed, I just designed it myself and printed it myself on, um, the last one I got was from Canva, but this one was from Instaprint. And then I just got like a $10 frame at Target. So when I have both black lamps, which I'll get the other one tomorrow, it will look way better. <laughs> Anyway, okay, I need a shower. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of keep you guys in the loop of what I'm doing to make my apartment super cute. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go to Target tomorrow and pick up that other black lamp. It's at a Target that's like 45 minutes away because none of the ones near me have the lamp. Um, and I also changed my entryway, but I'm not quite ready to show you. So I'll show you that in this video, but just not quite yet. Anyway, I need to just get this off my face and I can't even believe I'm film filming like this, but I'm gonna go shower. So I just got back from Target and I grabbed another one of these lamps. I'm gonna see what it looks like on the other side of my bed so they're like matching, but I actually noticed when I was bringing this lamp in that it's already broken. It's supposed to have four of these little feet on the bottom and one of them is missing. So it's like leaning. Let me show you. The lamp is like tilted. Okay, yeah, so it's tilted over. Um, I have some like felt that I could put underneath, like what you put on the bottom of a piece of furniture, but to be honest, like, I'm not sure if I like it. I just don't know if I like the height. I think it looks like too tall for my nightstand. So I'm kind of thinking about returning it and either just keeping the one on the right side or returning both. I don't know. I think I might return. I'm definitely gonna return the broken one. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, but those are the current apartment updates. Oh, let me show you my entryway. Oh, here's what the entryway is looking like right now. I hung these lights. I put them on my Instagram, but I hung these lights here and they have like little gold. They have like little gold pieces and the bulbs are just like really adorable. So I hung those there and they're super cute. And then I have these bands here that if you saw my closet tour, I was debating keeping these, but they're just like so cute to look at. So I have them on display right here. And I brought my little marble bench out and some plants here and my vintage gold mirror. This is just a pillow that I had on the couch, but I like it there because it just makes it look like an entryway. And I got this little felt storage basket at Target um, for 20 bucks. And I just have like my cord in there for the lights so I can just like click them on really easily. I actually got this pot at Ross. By the way, Ross has like amazing plant pots right now. It's this season that they normally get them. This huge, heavy, nice planter was $8.
seriously, $8. So I have that in here just because I need to get a plant for it. But I kind of figured I'll just use this little basket as like my basket of stuff that I need to get done. Or like I've been keeping my purse in there also. And also just like anything that I need to return or like mail, I've just been keeping in that basket. So I moved the Ikea cabinet. The Ikea cabinet is right here and my closet has turned into another complete disaster, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Even though I literally just cleaned out my closet, somehow that little area is already really messy, but it's okay. I mean, my closet just, it gets messy really quick. I just have to constantly clean it out, just like my pantry. Those are like my only places where I have storage, so gotta be careful with it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video coming out very soon. Bye.